Have you forgotten who I am? Have I forgotten who I am? Hello, yes, it's been too long, I know, apologies. Lots of one-to-one -one workshops in November, December, Christmas, New Year, return to work, last term. And uh, yeah, things getting in the way. Now in oh, three, uh, three-ish weeks or so, I'm off to do a demo at a club that has a Vicmark lathe, love it but this is a VL100 lathe. Uh, so not so much capacity over the bed as what I'm used to doing. So I'm going to give my little SC two and a half inch chuck from Record Power a try out and use the dreaded worm screw and a six by two piece of beach. Right, let's see how we get on. Now, before I put it on, perhaps I should explain why I'm using such a small chuck. The reason is these small jaws allow me to put a much smaller foot um, on the bowl or a recess and uh, given the size of the blank that's much uh, better scale than the C jaws which are a 70 millimeter recess or a 50 foot it's just a bit big really so that's the reason for trying out this little chuck which uh, I think is on offer at the moment with about three other sets of jaws for about 130 ish pounds you might think that's good value. You might not. Now there is a little grub screw that can go in there, which I haven't put on. Come on the overhead and just see the hole for it here so you can lock it onto your spindle. I'm not intending to do any, um, what do they call it? Um, any reverse turning, not reverse turning, putting the lathe in reverse. Right, the chuck key, if I'm honest, it's a little bit, irksome at times to get it into the right position but not too bad right so these little uh, screws you put them in and put flats facing the jaws and as you tighten up the jaw have a look at it this way as you tighten up that jaw make sure the flats are in line with the jaws and pull it forwards as you tighten it make sure it's nice and tight and you need a six millimeter hole, 17 millimeters deep. That sounds far too exact for me. One, two, three, four, five. That's more than 17. That'll do me. Right. Right, so that's nicely in position. Let's get turning. Forty millimeter standard jaws contraction onto a spigot. Twenty nine to thirty nine <coughs> millimeters. kitchen roll. If you're doing very fine work, safety cloth is great instead of kitchen roll. You can occasionally get a little bit of a abrasive, unwanted abrasive action from the kitchen roll. 
I always work from the small to the large size on the outside. You've got to watch that you don't burn a line on that rim if you don't want a burnt line on that rim by pressing too hard on it. Left a very nice, smooth, shiny finish. Right, let's get it off that screw cut. I think I'll go with the smaller gouge, traditional ground. Don't need the speed massively high. Mm, not exactly true in the chuck. I think that was my cutting of the foot probably more than anything. Better. Right, time had time to dry. Let's put another one on. Right, right here, here comes, comes fun part. part. I've not, not tried, tried this before. before. First, First go, go in front, front of you all, all live. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll turn, turn off the little inset, inset camera so, so that, that I don't show my disappointment. disappointment. In a way, I wonder if it's possible to make it just a little bit thicker. This is purple. Interesting how the purple is kind of holding, holding together, together, not, not really, really going. going into, into round, round, round edged, edged blobs, blobs like, like the, the other, other colours, colours were. were. Going, Going back, back over, over the with the blob, blob of blue, blue uh, a green, green rather. See, it's, it's written, written on, on the bottle, bottle. I, can't I can't say, say the, the colour properly. properly. Right, we're going to leave that to dry. And I'll come back and do some more work on it shortly. Let those run around.
And here it is with the lacquer on. And uh, it needs a bit of work. It was really a bit too cold to put lacquer on in here. It's not as even as I would like it, but I'll give that a bit of a burnish and a buff and that will, that will flatten out nicely. I really like the puddling of the colors together. It took quite a while to actually fix them and stop them going into a, uh, a more, uh, I want to say, um, I, I, I don't want to say bland, um more even coverage rather than showing the difference between the the colors so the the, the hairbrush hairbrush hair dryer <laughs> hair dryer really helped um uh, fix that and hold those colors so that you get this nice variation that was that was drying out um as i was leaving them to dry naturally uh so very pleased with it so far but you can probably tell from the growth of stubble from the beginning of this video it's taken me more than one weekend to do it so uh, it's a bit too early to buff this lacquer. Um, so those imperfections that you can see as I move it around just there over here as well, where it's not as smooth as it could be, they're going to have to wait a little longer uh, for, for the lacquer to properly harden. Because if I try and um, sand it back and then buff it up now, it'll just, it's too soft. It'll all, all come rubbed off. So I'm just going to turn out the inside just so we get a little finish. And then that will be it. And I've got a video posted. <sighs> and maybe I'll get another one done next month. So here it is, like I say, a little bit of finishing needed. Uh, you can just see there is a little bit of a raised line here. That's where the lacquer is too soft. I should have left it a bit longer before turning out the inside, but you get the effect. Uh, let me put it on the overhead. That always gives a nice view. Uh, so you can see there, yeah, I've got to wait for that to dry and then I can, I can polish that off and then I'll buff the, the top and get a bit of a better shine going on there. And of course I need to do a better job of cleaning up the back. But for getting uh, back in the saddle, is it in the saddle or on the saddle? Hmm. Uh, can't be bothered to think any further than that about it. Um, it was fun to do, to do a nice little bowl, nice little OG shape. Obviously, like I say, it's uh, yeah, not quite there yet, but I do like that coloring on it. I like the look of that. When it's buffed up, I'll put it on my Facebook page um, and you can uh, tell me what you think of it. It was great to be back in the shed. And uh, until the next time, thanks for coming back and watching. <laughs>